Hi YouTube, second workshop Wednesday and it's a big one today because I think that my laser tube has blown up. So for those of you who don't know about laser cutters, basically there's a big glorified light bulb in the back of them that generates the laser light, shoots it through a series of mirrors and um, cuts the material that you're meant to be cutting. Mine has seemingly stopped working. I've been very lucky in that I've managed to get an engineer visit to come out today. So in today's video, we're gonna change the laser tube and hopefully get the machine up and running. So this is inside the laser cutter. We've got the head here. Um, the laser basically comes out of that hole, hits this mirror, travels across, hits this mirror, much like a periscope, fires it out the bottom of here. And they started thinking there's something wrong because I was having to up my laser power and up it. And these are the, um, the uprights from my prism card stands, one of the Arkham Horror products I make. And it was barely scratching the surface. So one of the things uh, that can be the cause of this problem is the mirrors can get dirty. I actually have a preventative maintenance routine where I regularly clean things, but I thought, you know, maybe something's gone wrong, it's got extra dirty. Had all the mirror assembly apart, cleaned everything, nothing's wrong seemingly, so maybe mirror alignment. So what you do is you stick over a piece of masking tape and on the controller, there's a button that says pulse. So you hit the pulse button, it fires some laser light and it should create a pinpipe. But what actually happened was not a pinprick um, but actually this weird sort of halo circle effect which I have never seen before this is my second laser machine now and I've used lasers on and off since about 2004 I've never seen that before so this to me it's as though there's something weird going on with the tube or god forbid the power supply so as part of the, I bought this machine new so I've got an engineer visit uh, booked in and they're going to arrive shortly so I'm just going to clear out and we'll have a look and do some further tests. So engineers just arrived let's see what they can do. So as I expected the first thing engineer did was check the mirror alignment and the cleanliness of the machine it was all totally fine so started thinking there was something up with the tube next what he actually did was check the power supply I'm not entirely sure what he did here but he ended up making some adjustments to it I suspect there may have been some kind of dodgy connection on it, which may have blown the tube because the tube had in fact gone. And this is what it looked like when it came out of the machine. And one of the first things that the guy remarked was, oh, this is the old design. These are known to have a poor lifespan compared to the new one. So in went the new one, which looks like this. And fitting the tube is actually a fairly simple affair. Here you can see the guy soldering just two connections that come pre-supplied onto the tube, along with the water supply for cooling purposes. And in this view, you can see this black item here is the first mirror in the assembly. That was perfectly clean, but interestingly, you'll see on the end of the tube, there's a little gold ring, and there's actually a built-in lens in the tube, which I'd never cleaned. And the guy said that really it's unusual for you to have to clean it, but interesting nonetheless. So with the new tube installed, went through, pulsed, set the focus and the mirror alignment, and uh, all's good. So 650 pounds later, the laser cutter's up and running again. Now, I am glad I actually called the engineer for this one because HPC won't send you out a laser tube in the post. You've actually got to drive over and it's two hours for me to go and pick one up. So I'm glad the guy was able to come over and fit it for me, which meant I can crack on with production now. Next week, in next week's Workshop Wednesday, I'm going to be starting on creating a full workshop studio in my back garden so the ground screws which are the foundations are going in so that truly is going to be a workshop wednesday because it's the start of the making of the new workshop which i'm very excited about so thanks for watching check out my shop at tabletopupgrades.co.uk and see you in the next one